Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. We have all been waiting for this day. I know Jason and I have been waiting for this day. I got Jason filming because he wanted to be here to hear what the wonderful landscape designer, Michael Glassman has to say. I'm so happy you're here. I'm happy to be here. This is, <laughs> this is a diamond in the rough. Yes. <laughs> right? There is so much potential here and so many things. And the thing that I really like is you're a gardener. You're, yeah. a, you're a horticulturalist. You're someone that really wants to work with what you have and everything mm -hmm. and we're not just bulldozing everything and starting from scratch. Right, right. I don't want to do that. Exactly. Yeah. So the first thing I would say, you know, and I do consultations with people, the first thing I would say to you would be talk to me a little about what do you what do you want out of this place? What's the feeling you want? Okay. When someone arrives, what do you want them to feel as they get out of their car or as they come to the house? I think so I've been kind of thinking about this and going back and forth. I want California, right? Okay. Like I want the California feel. I think it's really important to embrace the California because there's so many of us out here in the West right. that, you know, I don't want it, I don't want this garden to pretend to be something it's not. I don't want it to be a Mediterranean garden. I don't want it to be a French garden, but I still, you know, like I like some of the elements from that, but I still want that California feel. Like the fact that the house is a Rambler ranch, right? right. I, I want to embrace that. I want that, you know, I, I think that that's important. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is that I don't want to lose that and pretend like this house is something it's not. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. So I have to say, I, 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 I cheated a little bit. Mm. I watched your video. Oh, God. Yeah. So, I mean, I knew, I knew that you'd bought the property. Yeah. I had yeah. driven by, in fact, we used to keep our horses at Flying Horse right down oh, the way. Oh, you did? So oh. I used to drive by this, but I'd never seen the property and then watching the video. So it gave me kind of a feel and some of the things I will tell you I agree with, some of the things I don't agree with. <laughs> okay, so what I, I said yes, in the video. Yeah, okay. what, you know, what you said and kind of, um, and here's the way I'm going to approach this place uh -huh. is that you're in the country. Yes. It is a country property. Yes. Um, the bunnies and the squirrels and the things that I can tell you. Oh yeah. Um, it's, it's part of the country. I uh -huh. know you live right next door to goats. So let me give you kind of an eye. We'll walk around and okay. kind of give you how I see it. I'm and so then, excited for okay. this. <laughs> so the first thing that I noticed, uh -huh. um, and I, and from watching the video and, yeah. and everything is I love the idea of the white and the black cool. and the black. Good. I think white and black would be great. Great. And you, black fence. And black fence. Okay. I think that's really great. Great. Okay. What I actually kind of the theme that I would go for here uh -huh. is country romance. <gasps> I see this place oh, there. I love it. Yeah, and, and I and I know your association with perennials, proven winners, and everything, yeah. which is perfect. Yeah. Which is perfect. Yeah. So I see this more. <gasps> Did you hear as, that? <laughs> so I, I I see this as country romance. So oh let's my gosh, start, Michael. I'm let's so start with. I love the idea of staining the fence gray. That's 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 a that's a given. Done. That's done. A done. Yeah. Um, the front fence, though. Okay. It's not attractive. Even painted gray, it's not attractive because to me, it sets the theme. So can you show it? Yeah, Jason. The, the front. It's just for me. It's too solid. Okay. It's just too fortress-like. Okay. What I would love to see you do is a couple of options. Option number one would be something like a wooden wire fence. Oh. Oh. Jason, come show this. So something like this. So tell everybody what this book okay. is. This is an idea book of different jobs we've done to give people ideas. And this is a wooden wire fence or a metal and wire fence. This is horse, horse baling wire. You can oh. buy that at Higby's right down in Dixon. Okay. It comes in big sheets, you can okay. see. And then in, in your case, what you would do is just the front fence, you would take pressure treated posts, uh -huh. um, you'd sink them in the ground, you'd do the baling wire over there, uh -huh. um, you'd cap it, and then this you would do a flowering vine on it. <gasps> and <sighs> so that it's solid, but it's not, but it's more of a open kind of feeling. That is incredible. And so, so the baling wire, Yes. that sounds budget. No, right? very inexpensive. It comes in sheets. So that's something that I want to point out. We, Jason and I are, you know, we're not, we don't have money coming out right. of exactly. You know exactly. what I mean? And so this is, you know, we've already kind of talked about this a little bit. Right. This, what, what Michael's doing for us is he, everything is, um, you know, it's still, it's still as, as, best as it can be, but thinking about budget Okay, as well. so this is my philosophy with all my clients. Uh -huh. I want it to look like a million bucks, but I don't want it to okay, go. Good. I, got, 
Because we don't have that. Right. And there's no reason, honestly, there's no reason to spend money. Uh Uh-huh. On things that you don't, you get your biggest bang for your buck. Yeah. You don't spend money just to spend money. Okay. I mean, some people do, yeah, but not, that's not me. <laughs> yeah. That's not me. So this is something so that, that sounds good, pretty budget, oh yeah, you right? Buy, you buy the panels. They're pre-made. Uh-huh. You buy the panels. You space them. I think they're they're eight feet tall. Oh you can make God. it six. You know, cut them down. You put your posts in there. You put a two by six cap on there. Uh-huh. And this would be the one. This would be the one fence. You could. I still like the idea of gray, or you could just do the front fence in white. Oh, oh my God! And then I you, love it. And, and then, then vines climbing vines on there, and you can do anything you want. I mean. I mean, you could do a climbing rose. Yeah. You could do a honeysuckle. <gasps> you could, I mean, you could even do, which would grow. I mean, you'll never see the fence again. You could do the, the uh, morning glory. Oh, the yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Which oh would grow God, over. You wouldn't even see a fence. I know. <laughs> so the idea being is, is that you would do that. And eventually, uh-huh. eventually. Yeah. Not now. Yeah. You would do coming across there, coming across here, yeah. and then eventually you have choices. Choice number one would be just going ahead and you redo, instead of the chain link, you redo the fan, uh-huh. the, the gate, yeah. and it slides open. But eventually, mm-hmm. what it would be nice to do is two pillars and go and do an auto gate. Yes, that and, is something we've been talking about. And that would be awesome. And yeah. then all you do is it's the same fence. All you would do is you put a track there and then they, the gate opens up. Okay. And in which case, I like the idea the gate would be done black. Okay. Yeah. So it would be white and then it would be black. And black, okay. yes. And would the gate be the same fence panels? Um, could be the same fence panels, okay. or that's where this is. That's where you would do a laser cut, which I love, <laughs> and do it in a floral design. So a laser cut for people that don't know, and there's thousands of diet. They're either laser or plasma cut. And tell everyone about your. Um you do you design these. yeah we design these yeah. we have a service so this one is called the dahlia <gasps> oh look at that and you can do anything you can do oak trees you could do i mean this one we did look at the leaves oh oh my gosh i love the leaves yeah i love the leaves look at that and this is this is actually a company out of woodland they okay. they what they do is you do the design and then it goes to a computer. The uh-huh. computer puts it together and then it's plasma cut and everything and then they finish it. Oh so gosh. you can start with the first uh-huh. and then eventually add that. And, and we're not talking breaking the bank. They're not. Right. It's, um, it would be beautiful to do, you know, the leaves and maybe or you could do if you were if you had a vineyard, you could do grapes, whatever uh-huh. you want. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So then the next thing that I was going to say is um, the driveway, yeah. the driveway. <laughs> what a event- lot of people had some good suggestions for the driveway my suggestion for the driveway again we're not going to break the bank eventually just have it resurfaced okay leave it leave it as asphalt okay um to take this out and replace it with paver or concrete that'll break the bank yeah and there's no reason for it because it doesn't fit the theme what i would love to do though is what i don't like is i don't like you've got some concrete here and then nothing yeah. What I would do is I'd come all along the driveway. We'll talk about that area in a minute. Okay. Um, with river cobble. Oh. I would come back about 18 inches to two feet. I would dig it out. That's an easy thing. I'd put landscape fabric so it doesn't grow weeds. Yeah. And I do this. So if someone drove off, they're not going to drive into your plants. Oh. It gives it more of a country feel. Oh, my goodness. That is that's incredible. That, and that's easy. And that's, you, you just get loads of, you go to a local, you know. The Dixon Landscape exactly, Supply. Exactly. Hasties, yeah. things like that. Yeah. And you order it and you order river, a mixture of small, medium, and large rock. It's kind of like a dry creek bed mix. Uh-huh. You don't organize it. You just throw them in there. You pack them down so that they're nice and nice and flat. And yeah. it acts as a border, but it also gives this much more of a country feel. I love it. Okay. Uh, plus, it's probably really good for drainage, oh, right? Oh, it's very good for drainage because like, this this is all going to drain into here, and this will almost act like a French drain. Yes, and in um, Master Gardeners, we learned about rain gardens and how important it is to have some of that stuff for the water to seep in, Absolutely. to not drain out of your property, but to seep into your property. So that that's huge. Absolutely. Oh. Okay, so now we come to the center area. Okay. And when we originally talked, we, we had been talking, you know, ab- about this property uh-huh. um, at another video and everything. And then I watched your video and you had talked about doing this as a parterre garden. What do you think? I hate that idea. 
Okay. And do you have me, any other ideas? Oh, I absolutely do. <laughs> and let me explain to you why. Yeah. We and, are, and, and listen, I am totally open. This was my iffiest idea okay. that I had. We are going to do a parterre garden, but it's not going to be Oh, here. okay. We are definitely doing okay. a parterre garden, and I'll show you where, okay. in my opinion. This needs to be, in my opinion, this needs to be when you drive and you go, oh, wow. Okay. So the way I see this, and I agree with you 100%, palm trees need to go. They need to go. Yeah, they Thank need to you. Go. They need to um, go. <laughs> what I want this to be is, the way I see this is, um, take that take that out. If you want to leave that for perennial, for annuals, you can. It, but, I'm I not. but I don't think it's necessary. Yeah. What I'd like to do okay, here is... Turn around is, so we can... Um, I would like to do kind of where the palm tree is in front of here, kind of a slight mounded area. Mounded? I would, yes. I want. I, I will tell you the theme. I will. Sh I I took a picture mounded. of something that I kind of see. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, Jason! Look at that! Whoa! And I'll tell you the only the big change I want to do <gasps> here is. I want in the gazebo to yeah. be white. Oh my God. <laughs> so that when you drive in, it's country. So you drive in, and what I see is. Can you send me that photo? Oh, I'm going to send that so you can put okay. that on. Okay. So imagine this. Oh my God, I'm Open shaking. the gate, I'm so I excited. drive in there, we see this kind of slightly mounted. And when I say mounted, I'm not talking about 50 feet, I'm talking yeah, about yeah. 18 inches. Totally. Yeah. We're, going, we're going to see kind of a white gazebo. So the gazebo is kind of where kind, the palm tree is? It was kind of where the palm tree, a little f closer in. Okay. Okay. We are going to do, and then what I see is <laughs> that's going to have maybe climbing roses on it. Oh my God. So that you drive in and you go, oh my God, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Then this area, what I'd like to do is, so I'll kind of walk it for you. Yeah. So kind of in here. And again, I want, we need to find out where the leech lines are. Yes, yes. But that's okay. Yeah. But because we may move things back, but I want this to be the good kind of gazebo. Okay. Right here. I want a pond. Oh my God. I want a pond. It doesn't have to be humongous. Just a. Um, it can be, it could be 10 by 10. And here's the way I see it. You dig this out. Yeah. A liner goes in there, could be a rubber liner. Yeah. You would go ahead the easiest way, and this is something you could do. Dig this out, 24 inches. This is not for fish. Yeah. This is gonna be for water plants. Yes. So there oh you'd God. have a, a big irregular shaped pond in here, right kind of up to the gazebo. <gasps> Gazebo's gonna be painted white with climbing roses there. If you wanted to do a weather vane, gorgeous. And oh, then I do want to do a weather vane. That would be beautiful. <laughs> and then this is going to be because you have animals, uh -huh. you're going to do a rubber liner, heavy duty rubber, yeah. 45 mil. Yeah. And then you're going to take a little layer of mortar, oh. put it on top of that, and you're going to take flagstone. Okay. Flagstone or, or um, and you're going to cover the, the rubber liner with the flagstone and the mortar. Let me explain why that uh -huh. is. The rubber liner's fine. It'll hold the water and everything. But if you get a raccoon in here and tries to bite a hole or scratch with those they'll go right through the rubber line. Okay, yeah. By putting the rock on it, and the only reason I'm not just covering it with cobble is they can move that. By okay. mortaring it down, if they go to try to uh, to, to uh, claw in it, yeah. they're going to hit the rock. Right. And they're not going to puncture the, the... Perfect. So then in here, what I'm seeing is a... You put a uh, low, uh, a submersible pump. Okay. You go ahead and do, because we're, we're going to do this on a budget. Sure. Could we do a waterfall? Absolutely. Right. But that's expense. Right. We can go, you can go over to a local place and find a big piece of rock. Okay. Pottery World would be one. We get okay. a nice discount. Yeah. And you do kind of a monolithic, a piece of natural rock. Yeah. That the water bubbles out of it. That's your water source. Oh, my God. And I'm not talking about six yeah. feet tall. Yeah. I'm talking about something that's three or yeah, four feet. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can imagine. And it. I want it very irregular. And so the water bubbles out. And then this pond, I see doing... <clears throat> Maybe you put some hyacinths or water lilies or water plants in here. Yes. So it's always looking pretty. Oh, how fun. The remaining part of this, I want to do in a couple things. I would love to see like weeping red buds, you know, that would be really pretty or weeping cherries. Yeah. I would like to do a little and then the pond is here and yeah. I would bring it into a dry creek bed. So you've got, imagine like 10 by 12, 12 okay. by 12, but very irregular. Right. Big boulders around it. Right. And then it kind of narrows down and it, it doesn't really, but it goes into like a dry bed. A dry, dry creek bed. Dry creek bed comes so it, out here goes down there and it kind of picks up the look 
that it picks up the cobble. So it doesn't really go under the driveway, but it has that look. Oh my goodness. Along the dry creek. Explain what a dry creek okay, bed is. A dry creek bed is in nature when things are, you've got a pond or you've got a stream and then the stream dries up and mm -hmm. it leaves kind of the, the, the skeleton of where the stream used to be. Right. You don't place its small, medium and large rocks. There's boulders. People say, well, when do you, put, where do you put the big boulders? Wherever it turns a corner or okay. if you can imagine, if you had a big boulder, water came coursing down, it hit the boulder, can't move it, so it goes it's gonna in the turn. Direction. Yes. And then when you do the rocks, you do small rocks, large rocks, medium rocks. It's supposed to be very organic. Right. Not a straight line. It doesn't look like a water flume. Okay. Okay. Around that we do all sorts of iris and all the what kind of the the uh, you could do society garlic, Tobaja, you uh -huh. could do Douglas Irish, you could do a lot of the Anethera, you know, the, the Mexican primrose yeah. around here. Yeah. So it really, again, you do a lot of your perennials because in nature, you get these creeks. Right. The creeks dry up, but when their water flew, flowed through them, um, it used to push a lot of the seeds. So you get wildflowers. This would be great with poppy and lupin. Oh, that would be so pretty. This area and this area is then done. You do a hole around the dry creek bed, uh -huh. around the pond. Uh -huh. um, in fact, flanking the pond, that's where I would do the weeping redbuds, weeping cherries. Okay. Something really, really pretty and weeping. Yes, I and, love weeping. Yes. And then this would be more of, I would do a nomo grass. Like that one that you like yeah what you could do lamandra platinum oh. beauty but you could also do a fe uh, fescue a nomo fescue oh that, okay so it looks what i want this to look like is a meadow oh my gosh so my idea is so good oh my god you drive in here this oh. was a meadow this was just that's why i don't want it to be level i want it to be irregular okay. like that boulder can stay yeah this is to be so when you drive up it's like Oh my God, they had this little, this little pond here with the weeping trees, with the white gazebo and the roses. This was all just a natural meadow with all the wildflowers and the color and everything. Oh and this is where, this is where you'd plant bulbs in the, in the fall. Oh you'd my God. You, you would put like a hundred daffodils or narcissus or into a bucket, throw them in the air, wherever they land, you plant them in the ground. Oh my God. This gosh. is the area that is people you would always play with. I like love it more than anything okay. and, and so all right so that's how i see it i love your orchard okay wouldn't change that the only thing i and i love the idea along the perimeter the kind of california look california right? california look now I what about like a pathway yes through. i love the idea of the cobble then you'd stop decompose granite walkway through decompose it granite okay with okay. a metal edge Decompose granite with a metal edge. Okay, we got that on camera. Right. Thank so you. Decompose granite, metal <laughs> edge. Um, the California, you know, again, you can do um, ceanothus. Yes. You can do. You can even do some yuccas. Yeah. I mean, that is a perfect Nifofia. area. Nifofia. Yeah. Wouldn't that be pretty? That's what I'm thinking. Love that. That I love that. Over here, this is where I disagree. Also. <gasps> oh no! And the long border. Yeah. The okay. long border needs a border along the fence. The view here is I'm standing here and I'm seeing a roof and a, and a dish and those little the, whirly. The I RV. Want, I don't want to see that. Okay. I don't want to see that. Okay. So along here, it yeah. doesn't have to go all the way back. Yeah. I want an evergreen that's going to block that. Um, what? That, um, Prunus Carolina, the cherry laurel. Oh. Bay laurels, you oh. know, if you want to do Loris nobilis. Loris nobilis would be great because it's a bay tree. Okay. It's an, it's an evergreen. Okay. It's, it's uh, drought tolerant. Okay. I would like to plant that starting starting about where that tree that... That died. That died. Yeah. Along here just to block that house, maybe to that almond tree. Oh, Just along goodness. there. And then you can do more of the things. But here's the thing. Yeah. This is going to be gorgeous. It's going to be beautiful. But what's going to you? You don't have to spend that much time on this yeah. because as you drive in here, uh -huh. that's what you're going to totally. see. Totally, everyone's going to look at that. That's 100%. why I said I love the idea of the fruit trees in there. I like the idea of the border. I might, for me, if I if it was if I. We already talked about the center. I might repeat what you did on that side uh -huh. with all of those on this side with the bay trees here. Okay. Keeping the sides a little bit simpler. Okay. What I would love to do here oh 
Yeah. Because I personally want to get rid of this whole mess. You do. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't see it doing anything it's for not. you. No, it's but not. But I love the idea. This is where I would do the, the garden that you were talking about yeah. here. Oh, in this in area? In this area. Oh, So okay. that when you drive in, you'll see through the fence. Uh -huh. This is all going to be color and flowers and different oh, heights of butterfly okay. bushes. Yeah. So okay. that when you drive in, wow, wow. wow. And I leave the two, the plums are staying. So that this area, again, kind of, so when I turn my head this way, this is a wow. So would you have a walkway through this I area? I would definitely have a walkway through More there. More of that decomposed yeah, granite? Yeah, decomposed granite. I'd love to see a, like a little bench, <gasps> and the bench would be white. I would even like to see some arches. Oh, my God. You know, so yeah. to me, what I see is, this is this is my vision. Yeah. Oh, my God. My whole plan is changing yeah. right now. <laughs> this is more privacy because I don't want to stand. I don't want to see their RV. I, I do know. not want to see their roof, and I, I do not want to see their dish. I know. That I want totally blocked. Okay. I want the view. And this is the thing that I like. When I stand here, I see all these trees. Yeah. I want that gone. I want the focus to be here. Yeah. And then when I come here, I love the idea of a walkway through here with iron arches where that vegetable garden needs to go. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, it's going to move. Okay. I would love to see even a little arbor with a bench there. Okay. And I definitely see this as a floral display. This you know. is my play garden. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. <laughs> this is, this is uh, like... What I like about it is I love the big trees. So instead of this starting out with nothing, I love and I love the purple leaves. Okay. I like this. This is going to okay, all good. stay. So all all these fruit trees, all these plum trees right here, stay. It's absolutely stay. Okay. The only thing that's going is this, the beds. Yeah, the beds. Yeah, and they I look like they should be pretty easy to remove. Oh right? yeah, I mean we could start removing them now. They're I know, just, right? Right. It looks you total can just pry DIY. Them out. Yeah. And as I said, the last thing you do, the very last thing you do. Um, after you've spent all your money as you resurface the driveway. It's okay. a driveway. I don't like the cracks, but you know what? When you're all done, because the reality is it's not going to inhibit you driving on it. Right. The second thing is you're going to be doing a lot of construction. Why would you spend money resurfacing the driveway and then watching big trucks come and crack it again? Right. right. So the very end of this project, okay. you redo the driveway. Okay. But the cobble edge will give it a very, and I don't want a straight shot. What I mean by that is I don't want a straight edge. I want it to kind of look almost like so oh. that it's like it's almost like the dry creek that we're doing there. The edges are Yes. Oh, so that oh we my don't gosh. see, okay, great, this edge is is sloughing off. I want this to be much more relaxed. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my god, that's gonna be so pretty with the orchard in the yes, background. Oh, yes. that's gonna orchard be so Orchard is fabulous, wouldn't change that. Oh. Now we get up here. Okay, palm trees going. Palm trees sure. are going. Yeah. So here's my biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is your opinion on the zigzag planter? Uh, part of it's staying, part of it's going. <gasps> oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And I'll tell you why, and okay. I'll tell you how we can do this. Okay. The thing that the house has no curb appeal. You right. don't even know where the front door is. I know. Which one of the doors are exactly. the front door? Door number one, door number I two, know. door number three. <laughs> so it's like you don't know that, and it just looks like a big um, slab. Of... Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what I'm thinking is. I want to do a courtyard. Okay. A and courtyard? A courtyard. Okay. But I don't want to do the traditional courtyard. We had talked a little about that. Yeah. I don't want to do the traditional courtyard that you expect to see, um, you know, a stucco wall or anything. What okay. I'd like to do is, love your idea of the espalier there. Isn't that's that pretty? A, love yeah. that idea. That's, okay. a, that's a definite. Okay, do that. Plus, okay. If you do an espalier, it would be nice to do it in fruit because it picks up the fruit garden. Oh, fruit? Yes. What? Because oh. you've got your orchard here. That's part of the orchard. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I would take... What, now, this is where we're spending a little money eventually. Okay. 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 In a perfect world, what I would love to do is, if we were going to do anything, I would love to put a gable over the front door. Like the roof gable. Yes, yes. I know. Wouldn't that be That nice? would be gorgeous. Yeah. But that's, that's, a, that's a bit expensive. Yeah. So we're going to do something better. Okay. In a way. What okay. I would do is this part right here, uh -huh. gone. The, gone. Okay. You're going to cut it right here. You're just going to take this out. Just just this part of the zigzag. Right. Okay. Right. And what I would do here is, so this is going to be gone because I want to be able to, people come in here and they park here. Okay. okay? Yeah. I. 
But again, you have no idea. Okay, I parked there. Do I leap over the wall and go into that door? Right. Do I, I mean, where do I go? Where do you so go? So what yeah. I'm thinking is the planter is cut there. We just remove that. Okay. We do a the, ga the same kind of idea that we talked about the front, the wooden wire. Uh, the front fence. The front fence. Uh-huh. So house is white. This could be either, again, white or it could be gray. Okay. Post here, wire along here. Okay. That we plant a vine coming out here. Right across here, we're going to do two posts, a post there, uh -huh. a post here, okay. a post here, and a post there. So it's going to line up there. You're going to put, you're going to build like a little arbor. <gasps> so four posts. I actually like the idea of doing it in white. Re okay. I actually like the All idea right. of doing it in white. And your choices are, you can do a gabled roof here, so it's four posts, beams come, uh, beams come across this way, frame I, it in. I'm, um, I, I, I've seen what you're talking about before. And I actually have kind of a picture. Of course picture. you do. Oh my goodness. That's good, right babe? That's very good. Oh my gosh. So it's kind of this effect. Yeah, let's show that. Yeah. Would you have a roof on it like that? I, so here are your choices. Okay. Choice number one would be just leave it beams and rafters and grow a vine. Choice number two, I do like the idea of you could just put standing seam, a little metal roof. Either one yeah. works for me. Yeah. Or if you didn't even want to do the metal, you just do a synthetic that looks like your, your roof. Okay. But right here is going to be so the fence comes out here okay comes around here we're going to take a little of the driveway just a little bit it's away fine. Yeah. right because you got plenty we're, of room there we got plenty of driveway yeah. this is going to be two so and the posts are not going to be four by four they look like toothpicks i want them beefy i want them at least <laughs> six by six so pergola is coming out pergola is coming that's gone oh my gosh okay, okay. so <laughs> then do you have the two you've got four post covered area in the second and in a perfect world, I'd like it to be a solid cover. Only because it's raining uh -huh. and you want to let people... The, the, per okay. the pergola. Done. Yeah. The, set, the doubled, as you come in yeah. and you're standing here, you would again do two laser cut doors or you could do... That mimic the... Yes. Oh my yes. God. Or you could do solid wood doors. Oh. Now, I'm right about here. I, you, could, you could, if you want to put a doorbell in an intercom, you don't have to. Okay. okay. Or just... You open up the doors. Yeah. This messes out. Okay. We, we, you have a choice because this is not, well, it's cracked, but this is the one place the roof is gone. You've got this pergola in here. This is your front entry. Right. So we could just take all of this mess out okay. and re pour it in a salt finished concrete. Okay. And which case the one, or what you could do, you said, I, I, could we, could we change this? This, up to right here could mm -hmm. be a level deck. Oh, okay, yeah, I like yeah. that. I so like we that. don't have to take it with. We just do a level. Would it deck. be wood, and we just go straight over the straight over there? Oh you probably gosh. would have to take. You might probably have to take one step down, but okay. this would be a wood deck. Oh my gosh! Yeah. We go ahead and make sure that this this is is. Uh, we leave this concrete, uh -huh. but along here, what I'd like to do is a hardy backer to make sure that varmints don't try to get yes, underneath please. this. Yes, please. Yes. Great. This would be a uh, stain. If you're doing it yourself, it would be redwood stained, kind of a gray color, so you can still see the wood. Okay. Okay. Stained I gray. Want, um, I want a pot in that corner, a pot in this corner. This is shaded. This is where you can put, you could do two red dragon Japanese maple. Oh. You could do hy I, white hydrangeas in here. Oh, yes. I mean, yes. I want this, and then I'm, I'm spending your money here. Okay. But I, and I'll show you a picture. Okay. I want. Um, Tiny groove on the ceiling, right here. Okay. And that will look like, let me just show you. Oh my gosh. So the tongue and groove looks like, which you'll like. It's, this is something your husband can do easily. It, it, they even have stick on. So yeah, maybe we'll do that to start with. <laughs> oh! It's, I mean, you've That's already so got the great. roof. All you're doing is we're just doing this little piece. And then it breaks up all the stucco yes, that's here. Yes, And I want a little, not ritzy, not over, I'd like a little chandelier. A little chandelier that, that you had to help me pick out yes, for California. Yes, but style. something maybe rusted look that looks like candles, but just a little chandelier. Yeah. 
um, I like your front door. The one thing I'm going to throw this out to you. Uh-huh. You can go bold on front door color. Yeah. You could do a teal. Yeah. You could do an or I mean, you could do something just the front door. The pots here, I'm thinking you could do um, metal, you know, black, or you could even do fiberglass that look like metal. Okay. I yeah. want to put lots of color, like if you did hydrangeas yeah. in here, this is what you're always going to keep in color. Okay. This is going to be more natural wood. Okay. And then the walkway comes straight down. You come down the steps. This is steps with lights. Okay. So that you don't break your neck. Okay. This is very easy. Okay. And then a nice walkway coming in here. Okay. We and then the the per, or the gate is right there. Right. Right, right in front. So oh we now God. know this is the front of the house, and you're not walking in this way. This is closed off. Which is weird. To yeah. Yep. So now this is the entry. Oh my we God. put with the with the the gates there with this coming here. We take the wire fence again okay so the planner stays we put the wire fence coming across here talk to you about coming here 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 and comes right to here okay it's six feet tall we take out this we make this a garden oh pretty. what you do with this planter yeah. which will be really fun it's not going to look weird you're going to get because the fence is going to come out here. Right. You have a void here. Yeah. The concrete's coming out. The asphalt's coming out. Okay. You're going to get a big boulder. You're going to put a boulder, jam it right up against this planter. Like right up against right, the angled literally, planter. Literally. So if I had a boulder, I would shove it right against here so there'd be a boulder here. And then there's a fence here. Yes. So you're seeing the boulder from. Yes. And it's got to be. And then you're going you're gonna to put a little bit of. You're, this is all going to be dirt. You're going to plant this. Oh my goodness. So that when you look out from here, I'm going to look through, I'm going to see these big boulders because there's a boulder there. There's going to be a boulder. We're going to accent a few spots. Like I put a boulder there, maybe one smaller one here, one over there. So the fence is see-through. Yes. So we're going to be able to see the boulders yes. through the fence. And you're also going to be able to see the plants in there because this is going to be your fun. You're going to do things that are a little taller. So I'm just throwing this out. If there was a boulder and we did, a pugster blue uh -huh. uh, butterfly bush. Uh -huh. If we did a variegated yucca. Oh if we did a, a big purple salvia. Yes. I want this to be so that when you're standing, we'll get into the inside of the courtyard. Okay. So when you're looking here, uh -huh. you're, there's a bo I'm looking at a boulder. And then planting there. So this doesn't look so weird. Okay. So you now have your entry. Okay. I want to keep not this deck in particular, uh -huh. but because this is your dining room. Yes. And what I would love to do here is, and remember the fence, just so that you know. The fence is on the outside. On the outside. Uh huh. So what I would love to do, and there's a boulder there, there's a boulder there, the new entry here, fence is there. What I want to do is you can, if you want, rebuild the deck. Okay. Or this could be poured concrete. Like lower? No, at the same elevation. Oh, same elevation. Because this is where, and if I did that, I would make this all the way over to here okay. with a step down to the door. Okay. But I want this deck. This, is, this mess is coming down. Yeah. This is all going to be much bigger because what I want to do is... Door is gorgeous. You look straight ahead. We're not going to be framed. You're going to have the wooden wire fence. So I'm the not, I can see through because above that is going to be the white gazebo. Right. With, yes. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to, I can actually, but I want to put a water feature in here. Okay. And one of the things, so you have a couple of options available to you. Oh my God. I'm Do so you excited. know <laughs> the one thing I, I'm well, assuming, in fact, I know, I, I think I'm right, that the, the block goes all the way down to the ground. The cinder, the, the cinder block? Yeah, I think it okay. does. Yeah. Because here's, here's a fun thing you could do. Yeah. Option number one is right there where it goes in. Yeah. You put another boulder in there. Uh huh. We just have a little, it's drilled. Yep. We have a little trickle of water. Yes. And just right here, we just imagine a papyrus, a papyrus, or or a, a um, either a papyrus or or like a horsetail on either side. A little, a little, very yeah. little. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about maybe three or four feet with a boulder trickling down here. This is just a little water element with the light on it. I love it. Deck I is going to be here. Yes. There's not. You're not going to feel like this thing is falling on top of you. 
That's your front entry. People walk in and you step up onto this deck, which is bigger. Yeah. That you can put a real pretty dining yeah. table here. Sit out here. So when I'm sitting out here, I'm not only looking at the white gazebo with the roses, uh -huh. I'm hearing the trickle of water. Yes. On the other side, we have water so that we're kind of making this. And the thing that's neat is with that gone, yeah. we can continue the grasses, the perennials, all of that. All the way, All yeah. of there. Yes. In this planter, this is where you gush out color. This is where right instead here. of doing right in the front, which you only see when you drive in, yeah. this is where you keep your annual color spillers and all of that. Okay. So that it's really, really pretty. And I like the idea of doing the cinder block in the dark color. Okay, good. I was going to ask Definitely you that. Definitely the dark okay, color. Good. Um, and if you wanted to go mix in a little browns in it, so it kind of feels, imagine those boulders kind of tucked in there. Mm -hmm. I want the, I, would I have built this planner like that? No, mm -hmm. but it's here. Okay. We can make it a feature rather than saying, tear the whole thing out. <laughs> We're going to make it wonderful. If it's dark, <laughs> it's got purples and pinks okay. and white. And then the boulders trickling down there, the wooden wire in here. Oh and God, what I, I like it. is with this deck bigger yeah. and it can stay in here. And then this in front of the ADU, I don't mind that. If the wooden wire is here, this yeah. is a planter. Great spot for a Japanese, it's morning sun. Yeah. So you could do a coral bark Japanese oh, maple. Oh, yes. This could be really, really pretty. Oh, so that so again, pretty. when when you drive in here, you're not the first, and I want to put, the one thing that you could leave, get rid of this. Yeah. Cut this right here and leave this little trellis if you want to extend it so it's extended oh, yeah. on both sides. I don't mind this. What color? Uh, this should be white. White on the white. On the white thing. Okay. Or, right. you know, I, I like the idea of rebuilding it only because I want to do a climbing vine on it. Yes. And then what we would do is so a little. So just, it would stop where the end of this roof stops. Yes. Okay. Yes. And we would do a little screen around here so yes. when you drive then you don't see that. Yes. Perfect. So the concept being is that when you come in here, we don't see, I mean, they're there. We don't see any of the doors. Right. We don't see that window. So someone staying in the ADU, Isn't... someone doesn't look right into the ADU. Totally. This is oh all enclosed, but we still got plenty of room for people to park. Right. In fact, if you wanted, you extend the cobble in here. So people can kind of yes, try. get out of their car. We've got, we now, without piercing the roof or anything, we've kind of picked up that look uh -huh. over there, yes. but it's freestanding. Yes. When I'm standing here, I'm seeing my fruit espalier there. Oh my God. I'm seeing my orchard here. And then again, right about here is my, this gorgeous kind of mounded uh, white gazebo. Oh my God. With the roses in here. I mean, it'll be stunning. It will be incredible. Yes. 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 This is. This is like mind blowing. And yes. I, that's not even a good enough word to explain it. How do you come <laughs> up with this stuff off the top of your head? I, I actually see it, it's a real, people ask me that. I actually get it like almost like a photograph drops in front of my eyes oh my God. and I see it. And if people say, no, I don't like that. I can, you can get another one. Another one just drops you, down. It's, you like, yeah. you are so freaking talented, Thank Michael. You. Thank says, you. I can't believe this. And this is your consultation. This is my consultation. That you do for people. Right. And we'll, when we go to the back, I want to talk to you about what we would do for okay. the next step. Okay. So right. that's your front. As I said, I love the front yard. Uh huh. I love the, the fact is the thing that's neat is with the water here and the water there, the trickling, it'll help you with the noise. Yes. Um, it's pretty. I mean, a lot of your property is in front and we're not, we're not making this a throwaway. And Thank you. Uh, let yeah. me, you, some of your viewers are going, well, why, why did he hate the parterre garden? Your house is country. Yes. It is. It, it's a, it's uh, not, it's a French. ranch. Right. Yeah, it's not, I, I mean, know. if you pulled in and this was a big two story stone house, right. Absolutely. I would totally. say a parterre garden with it. Yeah. This is a very, that, that it's a really nice house, but the house is kind of a lower, um, kind of, um, drama. Yes. You don't drive up and go, Oh my God, look at that house. Totally. The property yeah. is the drama. Right. And yes. that's why I said in the house that you, I mean, once you do that, the house is going to have so much curb yeah. appeal, yeah. but this property in the center yeah. is like something that when you drive in, when you sit here, yeah. I think would be amazing. I mean, you have to think Jason can vouch for this. When we were uh, house shopping, I spent two minutes inside the house and I spent two hours outside. Right. So we bought this property for, for the, the garden, not for the house. So Absolutely. I don't want to focus on the house. Right. Yeah. And, and the reality is 
you would be the you'd be my ideal client because you love the outside. Yeah. A lot of people would design this and then have no idea how to take care of it and expect the gardener to come and yeah. do everything yeah. and then everything dies. Yeah, and that yeah, that it's like what plants do I plant to make it look like that? It's not about that. It's about you need to actually take care of it. Exactly. Yes. And I try to tell people it's like your own body. You take vitamins. Yes. We don't just eat one meal. You drink every, water. You drink <laughs> water. You drink water every day. You take vitamins. You eat food to feed yourself. Yes. Well, you don't just put the plant in, feed it once, and then say, okay. Yes. Yeah. We're done. Yes. No. I like I yes. Yeah. I, I'm right I'm right there with you. So I mean, that's what's exciting. I know from, and I've seen what you've done in the old place. I know this place is going to be a wow. And Thank here's you. the thing that, so I'm giving you some advice. Yes. Both of you. Yes. Um, I would concentrate my first area, mm -hmm. the front. Totally. And the reason I say that is because you've already got doors leading out to it. Because if, if this was just all windows and everything and you'd never sit out here. Yeah different story but right. the fact is this is the perfect area once you do the courtyard you're going to be eating meals out here totally. you're going to be sitting out here it's a perfect area 100%. and with the ADU and the girls are there yeah. they'll come out it's a, it's a perfect it's area it's 100% yeah i completely agree with you this was our first our first thing to tackle for sure um i loved your ideas what do you like do you like the oh, arch I, I love wall? the idea of the arches okay. i like the idea of making this a shade garden okay. this is perfect and to keep costs down i think I, what i would do is decompose granite with a metal edge coming down just here. straight through yeah and and then i was thinking like um like a water feature or something over on this side is that worth <sighs> it or is no, not really. Okay. And, and the, uh, let me explain why. Yeah. Would I love it? Yeah. Or would it be beautiful? Would it be a lot of bang for your buck? No, because the girls are going to be, I will, I will promise you, and you know that already. If they're going to be hanging out with their friends, it's going to be in the oh, ADU. 100%. Yeah. When the family's together, you're not going to be here. You're going to be in the courtyard. Right. Or there will be time and see, this is the one reason why I like the idea of the gazebo in there because if you're picking and you're and and you're having a big party you could put people come over you could put a three-piece a string or a string quartet oh. in that gazebo <laughs> have the music people walk you, in. you think I'm fancier than I actually well, am <laughs> I mean I'm thinking I'm thinking a wedding uh, okay all yeah. right yeah Oh yeah, a wedding here. A oh, wedding here think... would be amazing. Oh my gosh. I mean, can you imagine can you getting imagine? photographs in there? Oh three my gosh. You could have a wedding ceremony and the driveway. Everyone parks out there. The driveway is where you put the chair. I mean, that would be gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Sadie and Shay are getting married here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Backyard. Okay, backyard. Yeah. Love the backyard. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah. love the idea of that being your office. Yes. 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 Um, I loved your idea. It would be the first thing, one, if, if it was in the budget, mm -hmm. change this to a, to a door. 100%. Love that idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to, same, same. Um, oh, kind tongue of, and groove. Right. Oh. Same kind of chandelier. This well, actually would have can, a, fa a fan. I was going to say, can we put a fan This would there? be a fan, yeah. no chandelier, tongue and groove in here. Yes. What I love. So the tongue and groove just goes out to this little. Yeah, just Different that thing. there. Okay, okay. Um, this, be, this, here's one thing in the front in here. Face this with wood. Yes, make so it, it look like a beam. Yes, yes, instead of a stucco, yes. Totally. I like the idea, but I don't like it at this height. I would love, because again, there's no entertainment space. Right. So what I'd like to do is, I would actually like to bring the deck all the way out to the end of the house here. Okay. All right. Same level. Okay. So again, this could be the least expensive thing to do would be redwood, put a stain on there. Yeah. You know, because yes, in a perfect world, synthetic like timber tech or treks or anything. Yeah. But I'm just thinking building this. Yeah. Just uh, checking the understory, making sure it's fine. Yeah. One of the things that I would definitely do when you take these out, because these are all. No, I think right. this whole deck needs to be replaced. It does. It's, and what yeah. I would love to do is I would love to put gravel underneath here, uh -huh. landscape fabric, so you don't get weeds. Yes. So that you don't have problems with varmints. Yes. Nesting here. Yes. The overhead structure, what I'd love to do is I want it mounted, if you look. It could be freestanding if you wanted, okay. or I would like it mounted onto the roof, or it's freestanded, which means, what I mean by that is, where is the gutter? Gutter's right here. There would be a post here. Oh, okay. Above at least two to three feet. So I want the post to be at least nine feet above the deck. 
Okay, so you, you're raising the pergola yes, up. Yes, okay. because right now, this feels like it's going to fall on my head. Totally. So yeah. I like and it the might. Eye. It right. actually might. <laughs> and what room is this? That is the master bedroom. Okay, yeah. so I love the idea of the deck will come all the way out. You can see how much bigger it is. Yes. I would put the overhead in again. White. White. Okay. No solid. For shade, what I would do is um, like shade cloth. Yes. Yes. Goodwin Cole sells that and yes. everything. Yes. So this would be six by six posts you would have. You'd probably do if you're not going to attach to the roof. My first choice would be to attach to the roof. Okay. If you, if it. What's if, more budget to attach or to not attach? Not attach. Okay. So you would have a post at the end. Uh -huh. One over here. One day, uh, what you do is you space them out so nothing's in front of windows. Okay. They uh, come up high. Yeah. It also, then you do them eight feet, eight and a half to nine feet above the, this level. Above the deck level. The deck level. Okay. So that it feels really spacious. Yeah. Yeah. If it's going to come all the way out to here. Oh, okay. All the way out here so okay. that you can, what I want to do is eventually, out I didn't here. look in your bedroom. Can we change that to a door? Yes. Okay. Please. Eventually. Yes. Master bedroom, the door opens up, you come out onto your private deck. Yes! If the two of you, and this is long term, yeah. if the two of you said, oh my God, we would love, or we're not ready to put in a pool, too expensive, but we are, we'd love maybe at least a spa. Yes. Okay, easy. The deck is coming out to the end here. Yeah. We pour a slab here. Uh -huh. You go to Costco, $5,000. You buy a portable spa here. Oh my it's gosh. It's at this level. Yeah. The deck is already raised. You put a step around there. You paint the, the skirt, the color of the house, or we go ahead and you do some laser cut panel around it. So, so hold on. The, the hot tub is on this ground level, the level. ground level. So then the deck would kind of go around, around it. it. The oh. back is left open for servicing. Okay. But what you would do on up here, so you'd leave about three feet beyond the deck. Okay. Beyond, beyond three feet beyond the hot tub. Beyond the hot tub to get in here and service it. Okay. But you're going to do another laser cut screen here. So if not to be, but if the two of you don't want to wear clothes and you come out <laughs> of the mat. No one's looking. <laughs> I know no one's looking, but psychologically. PG 13 yeah. related here. Psychologically, <laughs> no one wants to come out, even in a bathing suit, with the neighbors there yeah. feeling. So yeah. if you did a laser cut screen. I don't want the goats looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> so if you had the screen, whether it be whether it be something like that. Oh yes. Beautiful. The laser cut screen behind the spa. But it, there's so the laser cut screen is at like eight feet. Okay. Yeah, space between the laser cut screen and the back of the spa to get in there and service yes, it. Yes, yes. Spa's here. And so you'd open up the door from the bedroom, step in there, and oh you have God. this Doesn't feeling. Doesn't that sound nice? Oh, it would be beautiful. Doesn't and the reality nice? is, if you said, if you buy, you could do a seven by seven, you could do an eight by eight, you've got plenty of room here. Yeah. Okay. Along the edge of the deck, yeah. you have a couple of options. Uh-huh. Deck is high. It's not that high. It's one step up. Yeah. You could do flank this with flower beds, <gasps> raised planters. Yes. yes. Or if you said too much money, oh. you buy the pot, the big rectangular pots yes. and put them along there. Yes. Okay. That way it's a lot of color. And then you would put. And then put annuals and stuff. Annuals, in okay. flowers and everything. But you do big steps, big steps in the center. Oh, so plant, okay. So if I'm oh. sitting here, I'm sitting here in the spa kind of in it. This is private. Yeah. I'm looking here and I'm seeing flowers and petunias yeah. and daylilies and everything. And I'm looking there. This becomes then furnishing wise, we put, you know, kind of real comfortable furniture out yes. here so yes. that you two can come out of the bedroom, sit out here around yes. here. Yes. Now, oh my gosh. We're, we're going to spend some money. We're spending your okay. money, but okay. I'm just showing you ways of doing it. If you said to me, I love that, now we come out here. You may, this is off of the... The, like, the kitchen kind of. Okay. Yeah. So what I like is this wall, when you rebuild this, mm -hmm. I want this wall to have a trellis. I want it to have a fountain. A wall fountain? A wall fountain. Oh, my because goodness. Because okay. you, you've got a view here looking yeah. at a blank, horrible wall. So what I love is this is a door. You're not going to be able to put a lot of furniture here. Okay. You could put a small table here. Okay. You could put two chairs and a little table, but I want this to be a trellis. Like a, like a, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, pretty. And like a fountain like this. So let me, so the this was on the wall. 
And then on the, on the trellis or freestanding, you did something like, which again is, we're going for country. We're not going for... Country you know, romance. Right, I country romance. Oh we're going God. for something like this. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So when you open this yes. door, this has got wood. Yes. This has got a fan. Wood. There's two chairs with a little table that has a trickle of water. This is a or you could even you're capable of doing it. This should be a living wall. Yes. Make this a living Wouldn't wall. Wouldn't that be oh amazing? My God. I mean, about most clients wouldn't even know what to do, but you could do a living wall oh there. That would be... I, oh my God, I I want a living wall. And then have that fountain right in front of it. And the fountain right in front Ooh, of it. Yes, oh my God. Oh so my goodness, So what I'm so I excited. did, let me just show you. This was a client, I did this. Maybe it's, is it in here? I did a living wall for them and it was just so. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Isn't that incredible? Is that metal? Um, that was, that's actually, um, no, it's those, um, those pouches, those pouches. Oh, yes. So what you would do here is you would go ahead and do a hardy backer. Mm -hmm. So you don't get any water against there. Okay. Uh, frame it out, put the pouches on here, mm -hmm. put the fountain here, and then you plant this out. You could even do misters because we're redoing the deck. This could be uh, a drain down here, yes. area drains, yeah. and gravel in here. Make this so that when you're in here, this is like, oh my God, I've got a living wall with a fountain. And it's going to bring everybody yes. outside. It's yes. going to make so us want to come out So you walk out, out there, and then your steps are there. You're not having the post because you're having, if we're not attaching to the roof, uh -huh. they're all spaced out. I would do a very large, so their post would be six by six. The beam across here would be a six by 12. Anything so that we reduce the amount of posts. Yes. And if we and if you price it out and you find out, OK, here's another option for you. Um, there is a company. There are several companies that they do. Um, it's an aluminum overhead. It's called Durawood. OK. No maintenance. OK. The only thing that and they can attach to the roof and it's not expensive. Okay. The difference being wood, if you were building it, if your husband's building it, uh -huh. it'd be less because it's maintenance right. and because you're paying for, for labor. Yeah. But if you get a company here that could put the overhead, which that's not pro a problem, you'll have less posts. And the only thing that's cheesy about those are the posts. They kind of, when you bang on them, sounds like a, sounds like a mobile home. So while you do, face it to one. Put, put, put wood around it. One by, paint it, looks gorgeous. Send me the um, link for yeah, that. Yeah, it's so a Dura I'll, wood I'll, or I'll any of the aluminum. in the description down below. And my feeling is, is like to build this here, probably have someone do it. You're probably looking at fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000. Okay. The Dura wood would probably be maybe seven to 10. Okay. And they, they do everything, they get the permits, they take care of everything. Oh my goodness. So, okay. Then what I see is where you've got- Hold on, hold on Michael, one second. Yeah. The, the stairs, are, it's, is it center, centered right here? Centered with that and it's going to be more, so the deck's coming out to here, the steps, I, I, want, I want them wide. Wide steps centered on that little inlet right. area. Right, so that okay. maybe the steps are as wide as this opening here. Okay, yeah, pretty. Yeah. And then like two pots on either side. Oh, oh absolutely, gosh, yes. absolutely. <laughs> um, here, all we're going to do is we're going to put the laser cut screen here. To so hide that we the AC Yeah, unit. we're not yeah. moving the AC. Yeah. And we're going to just have steps down to get to that door. Mm, perfect. That door, you're going to invest in a really nice carved wood door. I think they're a couple hundred bucks at Home Depot. I know what you're talking about. Yes. 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 So it's pretty. And it's California. California. Yeah, it's, it's California. It's so California. Okay, so now so, we've got so this So that door big, goes into our garage, you guys. Now we have this big deck here. Yeah. We've got a private area for the master bedroom. Uh -huh. It's not separate, but it's it's with the spa. Yeah. We've got a big broad all the way out for Beautiful. a dining table. Oh my god. If you said to me, we barbecue. Yeah. Where would we do that? You have two options. Uh -huh. Option number one is you could because remember, there's not going to be a post here. Yeah. The post is all the way, way around here. here. Yeah. There's going to be steps here. We could do from the edge here, we could do a galley kitchen. <gasps> Walk yes. out the door here, come along here, cooking there, smoke goes this way. This becomes a galley kitchen. Perfect. You step, if you're coming out of the garage, you can come up here. This is a perfect area because if you take from here all the way over, you got plenty of room. To right here. Yeah, right. to right there. Okay. And then with the wind, would we have to get a higher window? No, no, because um, 
Well, you could get a higher window or what you could do is start out low here. This is prep and then it could, could come up a little higher. All right. Or if there you, you wanted, go. you don't have to put it right up against the window. I probably would switch the window to a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller yeah. window. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The other Especially option is if you said to me, if you said to me, I don't want to change the window. Mm -hmm. I like this idea, but is there another place to put it? And the uh -huh. answer is yes, right here. Okay. Remember, we don't have a post here. Right. So when, one of the things you could do, here's another option is, forget, forget that. that. Do the laser, laser cut screen, yeah. keep the window, don't yeah. change that, put the steps, put your galley kitchen here, but it's going to come straight out and where you are, it's going to be, it's going to be like a, like a, um, where everyone can sit. Yeah. So it's going to be straight out here. So your yeah. husband's going to be barbecuing and then you're going to flare it out. So it looks like an hourglass. Yeah. And yeah. that's going to be, this will be a granite or a quartzite countertop. Yeah. Barbecue here. You could put a refrigerator if you want. You have plenty of room. Uh -huh. And then that flares around. It's like a big circle and you have bar stools all the way around. Cute. You can sit there. Love it. That would be, it. And it's got an overhead with a fan over it. Yeah. I, I think mean, I'd either that, one, you what? would rather do this one. I think I'd rather do this one okay. because the thing is, I don't want to mess with the window. I don't want, you know, then the airflow that I would do, definitely yeah, do it yeah, here. Yeah. And the thing that's neat about it is if you said, does it have to go against the wall? The answer is no, you could leave a space so you could walk out here or just put it here. I like the concept because this could be done in stucco, okay. which would be really pretty. Yeah. Or if you said, I love, I know you were saying you like the siding. Yes. We could use, and I'll show you a picture, we could use that as, as a material also on certain things. Okay. I'll just show you what that looks like. <gasps> ooh, ooh, I like that. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. That's what I would do. I like it's that. inexpensive. It's the, it's the corrugated siding. Yeah, that's you, metal? It's metal. So could we do on the front, the front yes. cover? Wouldn't that be pretty? Yes. So you use the corrugated on- On top of on the front gate area. Front gate. Yeah. You use this on that area. And then it blends in. Yes. And instead of laser cutting around the spa, uh -huh. we would use, we would just wrap that in. So again, it's a theme that we It pick. brings in the work, yes, metal workshop. Which I like that. And, Me and too, yeah. Again, so what we go is kind of industrial, romantic country. <laughs> Okay, so the steps come down here. Okay. Now, let's talk about your, you're there and I wanna to get to the rest of this yeah. in a minute. Yeah. Okay, I love your ideas. The only thing that I would think about later on, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I love the idea of painting this white. Uh, the wood's fine, it'll look much better white. I agree. I like that. Yeah. Um, I would think about changing the sink area. Okay. I'd make it a little bathroom. Oh my goodness. And the reason I say that is, is that you've already got the plumbing. Yeah. It's already there. All you need is a toilet and a sink. We're Just not... a little water closet. Yeah. Oh, and the right. reason for that is you're in here. You have to go to the bathroom. You don't want to run all the, run way, all back the way outside. Here. It's yeah. perfect. Okay. Here's the, the one change I would make here. Yeah. Not now, but eventually. Yeah. I want to move the window and I want to move the window over to here and I want to make it a door. Like a big. Yes. 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 Yeah. This gets moved over that way. You can make this a little, and even if you don't, uh, the water closet can go from here. You have a little barn door open. It'd yeah. Be perfect. Yeah. This needs because you're not going to cook in here. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. Now. That's the door. Does the door go away? Uh, no, we keep the door. Okay. I still like both of them yeah. because your part here garden is coming back. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is your parterre garden. Okay. So the thing that I like about it is the palms are, are gone. Yeah. The deck comes out to there, the steps here. Yeah. Walkway can be decomposed granite okay. with metal with the edging. Metal edge. yeah. Walkway here from the door. Okay. One big parterre here. Okay. Second parterre here. Third parterre, we do a big, so that this is. This is where it yes. is. Yes, yes, okay. this makes sense. Okay. This to me is not, doesn't <laughs> look like, and if you wanted, because the door, I would move the, you know, the window is going to be moved center over, it, yeah. centered. Yeah. Right in the center could be a statue, a big pot, okay. a, um, a, a sitting, whatever you want to do I like here. a big pot. That yeah. would be beautiful. I love beautiful. a big pot in here. Like a big pedestal yes. kind of, yes. yeah. And I don't mind this. This could be boxwood. This can be as formal as you want. It's not going to compete with anything. Okay. Is, be does boxwood do good? Okay, where we are? Winter gym boxwood does great. Thank you so much. Does I was great. wondering about now, that. Now, now, 
the walkway comes out here, uh -huh. eventually, eventually, not now, the pool will go right out there. <gasps> oh! I like, the, the bottom line is, is that the one thing that I would love to see if you could do, mm -hmm. only if you could do it, mm -hmm. In the front, if we find that the leech lines aren't close, mm -hmm. it would be nice to put the willow tree in the front. Like in the center island? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If the leech lines we are We got to find them. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If they're too close, no, then it can go back here. But okay. what I see is water tower, that stays, you screen that out. Right. Yeah, just fence Can't, that out. Yeah. But the fencing here. Yeah. Now, here's one other thought. Remember I talked to you about the, the in the front doing the, the, the wire and everything? Uh -huh. If you wanted a little bit more privacy or uh -huh. industrial, I still like the wire I one. I like the wire, yeah. Okay, we'll leave yeah. that. Yeah, I like the wire because if I wanted privacy, I can just put vines on yes. it. I could easily do that. Around yeah. here, yeah. this is going to get the corrugated metal. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. This is going to, I love that. <laughs> it's fine. It's there. And then what you would do is you would come out here. Remember, you're going to have steps there, walkway comes down. It's all going to connect to it. It's going to be a, so if you're walking to the pool, you yeah. can come out here, you can come down here, Walk you can go through. across. And then the pool is going to be just a very simple, for me, I see a very long rectangle. Yes. Just yes. a square yep. rectangle. Yep. Um, what I would do is I love the olive tree, prune it. Okay. I would love to. I love the barn. I, I love, love the, the barn, barn too. I just, Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love the barn. I wouldn't cover that over. The fence gets dark gray. Yeah. I would put two more somethings, yes. pretty like crepe myrtles. Yes. Crepe myrtles yes. would be gorgeous Done. here. Done. I would leave a space kind of open so you can see the barn. Yes. Yes. Down in here, I would do lots of lavender. Okay. So this feels, this is going to be kind of the vineyard. Yes. I could even see if you had. Crepe, white crepe myrtles or crepe myrtles, lavender in here, even if you wanted to do on a diagonal, some grapevines. Oh my goodness. Okay. Just for the feeling just, of Napa. Just, yeah, for Napa. Because we're is, about, in, we're, we're very close to Napa. Yes, you guys. we are. So, so like wine country style fits in perfectly. Here. And one of the things that I love is if that has the metal, the, the corrugated, you can see it over there and here. I, so it, I love that you are incorporating the corrugated metal. I think it would look so because good. Because it just makes that metal workshop yes, it does. fit. Yes, you know? it does. And then what I like is the pool is just going to be a simple rectangle. Yeah. Um, do the minimal amount of concrete coping around it. Okay. Have your walkway come to it. Okay. This is not going to be where you're going. You're going to be sitting out there. You're going to be sitting in there. Yeah. If you wanted to, between, be, not on that side, but on this side, you could do a small, the 10 by 10, 10 by 12, the Costco gazebo. Oh, yes. Yes. Which would be great. You know what? I would like that. I would too. I think that that would be really nice by the pool. Yeah. Either this one or this one. Yes. 10 by 12 and what so I So that's what you have in the therapy garden. Yes. You guys watch that video because it's amazing. It's a therapy, Yolo Cares Therapy Garden. I'll link it down below. The Costco gable is in there. Less than $2,000. Yeah. So you come out of your office, mm -hmm. walk straight down there. The gazebo is here. You walk straight down there. This would be, have a pad so you could sit here with chaises. Look at there. I love the fact that you're looking right at an olive. I love this. This is beautiful. Right? You don't, if the fence is, is a dark gray, you, you won't put, even notice you it. You wouldn't even notice yeah. it. I love the olives there. I, li I love this view. There's here. a horse over on the other side of the love fence it. there that's walking around. You know? And then the back side of the gazebo, you would either you would either do a laser cut here uh -huh. or you could do um, slats in here because that'll be closed in. Yes. I like your idea. This area. Careful with the bees. Yeah. There's bees um, under there. A veggie, you know, veggie boxes here or something. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, I mean, someone had a good idea is to cover this and then this be my potting area. My this potting is a bench. great idea. Wouldn't this be a good to have the potting bench back here? This is a great yeah. idea because of the reality is we'll get to that. I love the idea. That's screened out. Yeah. That over there is going to be, this is going to be the potting bench here. Yeah. Gazebo's there. So you could go from the gazebo to the potting bench. Yeah. What would you do? Is there... um, just, you know, just maybe scre a little decorative screen. Okay. That doesn't bother me for your potting bench. Yeah, right? Who cares? Who cares? I mean, the truth is, if the back of the gazebo, so you don't see all of that stuff, would be perfect. Okay. You've got enough room. I mean, if you figure out square footage, if that was a potting bench, uh -huh. 
and this is this is painted white and you've got the black trim uh -huh. and maybe I would you know and if this was a gazebo with the slats and then that's a corrugated metal that picks up that so yeah. I've got metal here metal here it'll all fit what I'd love to do to be honest with you yeah dead zone you know what I do here what veggie garden right here yeah in raised beds? In raised beds. Oh my God! It's full sun. It is full sun. It's full sun. It's a dead wall. The thing that I like about it is you can come down, out, come out of the garage, take this whole space, do like that corrugated one that you yes. have in the front, build four, six of them, put it, you've already got drainage here. Oh my God, hold on. Let me, let my brain catch up to you. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay. So okay. this is this is already got. Here's the thing that I love about it. Yeah, it's already got concrete. It's got a drain. Yeah, yeah. You can put. I think they're called Vigo Garden Beds. Oh yes. Yes. They. The they, car. They just contacted me. <laughs> I love that. You can do them. They could be the the silver. They could be black. Okay. You could do fun in here. Oh you my god. You could gosh. put them in here. You could, if you wanted, extend it out. This is all should be garden. Okay. And the reason I say that is is that you drive in here, uh -huh. you've got access to compost and all the things in here. Yeah. You could, there's your garage, you come through here. Yeah. There's your office, you come out here, you can work this. You're not taking a day hike. Oh my goodness. On that okay. side is your formal garden. Okay, with flowers. With flowers and, stuff like that. and everything. If, even if you wanted to throw in some veggies in those. Yeah. This is your. This is where you're growing. You get full oh, sun all day my. long. Can I ask you, like, sure. like layout? Like, how would you do the um, layout? I'm with thinking the what I probably would do is maybe one, two, three, four space in between them. Okay. Yeah, maybe four okay. if you were doing five, six, at least six of them. Okay. But I'd make and them tall, three feet tall. Three feet tall and angled in this way. Yeah. This way. Yeah. Okay. I think I would do that. Wow. And then I think what I would do is on the fan on the wall of this this wall i yeah. think i would put a trellis so you can do squash and beans and everything oh my gosh now the, a lot of people do the arches over the would you okay fine all right i mean uh, do i do i object to that not at all because again here's the thing that i kind of like about it i'm standing back here my deck's coming to here yeah again this is the uh this is going to be the planter boxes here I'm looking this way. I've got a formal, a formal parterre garden here. Yes. I love the idea of that being a, a little bit more formal. That's why I was laying them out, you know, so that they have like, the arches. Yeah. So you can kind of walk in between them. I mean, I like that idea. Oh my God, Michael. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> and as I said, what I love is that's a blank wall. What are you going to do with it? What am I going to do? If you put a trellis, again, the hog wire on there and grow snap beans and beans and squash and yeah. Okay. Okay. And as I said, I don't have a problem with these could go right up here. So put them right up again. Yeah. And then put your trellis here. You could put little spacers and then you have more room to walk in between. And oh if you God. wanted, you could put another little, if you wanted to get fancy, uh -huh. you put another pot here or a fountain here on, so on, that you, feet. on yeah. feet so that you still have drainage. Oh, I want to do and that. And what I love I about this is that. all of these pots are going to drain into there. You already got your drainage. Oh my God. And you know what I see? I'm going to, I'm going to contribute yeah. to this. Yep, please. I have plugs right here. Yep. I could do cafe lights. I love that <laughs> idea. I love that idea. And then oh just God. paint that door. Oh my Goodness. Yeah, it's Let's perfect. Show the door At over here. night, that is a Chinese pistache. I love that. I know. Can put you imagine? I mean, I put a light in it. Oh, can you imagine? Oh my Let, God. Can you imagine at night? You've got the arches over here with the cafe lights. You've got a little pot or or a fountain in here that's illuminated. This is gorgeous. I walk over here and pick some basil. Yes. Uh, cookie. Yes. yes. And then the last thing you do is the carport is not pretty. It's Easy. not. Posts get painted black. Yeah. Barn doors. Oh my goodness. Sliding barn doors. Oh my goodness. That way you don't want to get oh rid of goodness. it. You can slide them closed. You don't have to see them. Store bikes in there. Yes. This is a perfect you area. You've that, already Jason. got concrete. I know you love that. <laughs> Sliding barn doors in here. This would be perfect. And they're made, the barn doors are made out of the corrugated. Oh my. With a black trim. Oh my gosh. Slide them open and okay. everything. I mean, they, they And then we have storage. Then you have storage galore. Oh my gosh. And they could almost. Plus, I mean, we have storage in there. But yeah. you know what? You can never have enough storage. Oh my so goodness. So this was a bike barn we did. Let me see if I can. Oh my gosh, yes. And then this is a, this was a sliding door that came 
but this kind of effect this would be the 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 sliding barn doors instead of the rusted court and steel you this are, is perfect you are so talented thank so you well the barn door go all the way around the whole perimeter yeah i would you decide how many places where the access where you are. want access yeah that would be enclosed that would be i you don't i don't think but again you would know more than i do is I think if you park here, you'd want to go this way, so this would slide open. Okay. I don't think you need, I probably would enclose this, mm -hmm. enclose that one, barn door there, um, maybe two barn doors, close this off, close this off with the corrugated. Yeah. That slides open. Yeah. That one, so you decide, okay, I want an opening there, an opening here, and an opening here. Yeah. Not all of them would be barn doors, just the ones that you think we would use. Yeah. And it I doesn't know... have to be insulated or anything like that. No, it's no. Just you just frame it out in metal. Yeah. Black um, um, square, there's a name. Is, What's it? Ladder bar? Not ladder bar. Mm, I have no idea. It, it's a square. Well, I don't. I, I, senior moment. <laughs> Stop it. You have no. Well, anyway, <laughs> this could be left open so you can pull a car in here. This could just be. I don't mind that being completely open. This could be enclosed with the exception of a barn door there. So oh, you're not God. seeing into here. Yeah. If you said, yeah, I love the idea of being able to pull the car into here. This basically. I, what I love the idea is you can put lots of stuff in here mm -hmm. and then decide either a barn door there or here mm -hmm. and then this closes off. Yes. Either way. No, huge. Yeah. This is huge because I don't, I, I didn't it's like this. The thing that yeah. I love about it in the rain, it's covered. Yeah. It's access all the way around. Yeah. Why not, kit? you've got concrete here. Why spend any money other than some enclosure? And as I said, the corrugated's gorgeous stuff. It's It's huge. industrial. We are going for a romantic industrial country living. That. So you're not you're not doing fancy stone. No. And, yeah. yeah no. You're doing I mean that doesn't go here. No, it doesn't. You know what I mean? Corrugated goes I got here. Co I got goats next door. You got goats next door. The corrugated is great. The metal roof with the corrugated is great. Uh, the decking, if it's grayed out, yeah. it's, it goes. That's why I said the white goes, the black goes, okay. the gray goes. Okay. And the reason that I like the parterre garden here is. It doesn't fight with the house. You're seeing it going this way. Yeah. So it can be as formal as you want. You're not driving in and going, who is she kidding? Yeah. Yeah. A uh, question about yes. the house. You said white. Do you think it should be black trim or do you think white trim? I would do black trim. Black trim. Yeah. So slate to match the fence would exactly. be okay. Exactly. Okay. Oh, yeah. I love that. Okay. And then it's up to you and it's strictly a matter of if you want to pick up a little bit of color. Yeah. You could do some um, doors and teal, or, okay. or you don't have to. What about green, like sage, I love, sage green? I love that. Because it I mean, goes with my channel. Again, you know? sage is really good. It's just because there's going to be a lot of white and black and yeah. silver. Yeah. So you can pick up any color, any color you use, just repeat it, repeat it, repeat so it. So like a, like a really beautiful kind of bright, uh, not sagey bright, but like a green. Yeah. We could do the green Would door here and the green front and door. And you know what? The worst scenario is you decide you don't like it, you paint it over. Repaint it, yeah. I mean, what if you, can or you say, you know what? Everything is going to be black and white and everything, but what I'm going to do on the doors, I think what I'd like to do is, could I do the doors in a natural wood, kind of like a walnut oh, or kind yeah. of go, that would be another option. Yeah. But temporarily we could start with paint. Absolutely. It's That's what yeah. I would do. Yeah. And this I, way, what you have is what I like about it is now you've got a place to barbecue. You've got a big, you've got a big sitting area out here. You're going to be going back and forth, but you're not going to have to go in to use the bathroom. Yeah. You've got your formal garden here that you can be playing with and you can do shooting videos. What's you, t what's here to the walkway? Um, with the, the decomposed, decomposed granite, granite with, with the, the metal, metal edging. Okay. And at a later date, if you say, you know what? It's fine, but eventually I want to switch some of these areas to concrete. Okay. But the difference in price is great. It's I mean, the concrete 16 bucks a square foot, whereas the DG is a lot less expensive. Okay, perfect. And if you said, could I do gravel? The answer is yes, you could do that too. Okay. What's cheaper to you? Um, you know what? You'd have to just check prices okay. on those. Okay. And then the one thing that I'll I would... I'll go with DG because that's what... That was I the love first... the DG, okay. which feels to me more country. Okay. But I will tell you... I love the idea of the big pot, but on the other hand, I could even see a more formal. So I'll show you this. This would not disturb me is if you did a fountain in the center of your parterre garden that mm. looks more like this. Oh my God, that is incredible. 
incredible. Pottery World special. Pottery World, yeah. Pottery World is in Sacramento, you yeah. guys, so. So, I mean, that would be because, again, we're sitting here, living wall, the sound of water out there. We've got this really fun parterre garden. I mean, it, it works. It doesn't. And the one reason I like that is the olive trees with yes. the lavender, right? with the crepe myrtles. Yes. This all fits. This all, that all fits with the style. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. Now, the thing that you said, what used to be my long border. Yeah. Um, would the trees go all the way over to here? Let me show you. Sure. Would they go here too, all the way up you to the workshop? You could. You know, the one thing that I will say is this view does not bother me. Okay. So if you said to me, you're right, uh, the only... Because we have, see this concrete right here? Yeah. I don't know why there's concrete right there, but uh, it, there's uh, like a break, so we I wouldn't be able to do the I, trees there. Here's what I think happened. Mm -hmm. In fact, I know why it's there. When they pulled out of the garage, they needed a little bit oh, more room for yeah, turnaround. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, this doesn't bother me. If you stopped your trees there, okay. you could even do, this would be fun since you've got these, do two more of the, the, the uh, two or three more of those garden beds. Oh, the Vigo garden beds? The Vigo garden okay. beds here. It's oh, perfect. Man. <laughs> um, maybe do melons here. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be fun? And then along here, you can do more flowers, color, and everything. Okay. All right. Because the thing that I like about it is, again, you've got your garage here. You come out here. If you make these taller. Yeah. You've already got concrete here. Yeah. You can run your drip. I've got drip right perfect. there. Yeah. You don't have to worry about a bad view. No. Yeah. If these were tall and then you had the melons billowing out of there. I like the shop there. I mean, it all fits it together. It all fits. Oh, I, I cannot believe you just did this. I cannot believe your brain is insane. <laughs> I mean, you even incorporated the metal. You know what, I mean? what can I say? So, oh okay, so the next thing, and we don't have to decide today because okay. as I tell my clients, it's not a used car sales lot. The two of you need to talk. Yes. And what you do is you prioritize and you say, okay, the next step is we need a master plan. Yes. We're not going to do it all at once, but we're going to do a master plan. And then we sit down together and say, okay, we like this idea, but we didn't like this idea. And we thought about this and we thought about that and we can want to change it. All of those things. What I tell people is it's an organic process. Mm -hmm. It's not, no, no, you have to do this. No, yeah. it's when I work with people and when I tell people, you live here, you know how you live, you know how the girls are, you know how your husband lives, all of these things you live together. So you're going to then relate to me. We definitely like this idea, but we didn't like this idea. Okay. We wanted this, but we didn't want this. We, we thought about this and we've decided not to do that. I liked all your ideas. Yeah, so. but <laughs> this way you digest it all. Really and then what we do is my recommendation is maybe in the plans, they've already laid out the property. If not, we drone this uh -huh. and then we, I think I have, yeah. yeah. Then we start working on that. And as I told you before, you know, we lay out, we do a 3d, we actually do a virtual where you feel like you're walking and that way you've got something yeah not only are there square footages but there's something that you know okay we're gonna start with this we're gonna do this we're gonna do that the thing that I love about it is all these things can be done in incrementally I, we don't have to do it all at no. once we can and do the, it year and that's by year. what I said the last thing I would do is anything other than maybe the cobble edge to the driveway because if they're gonna put in a pool and the thing that I love about it is okay we decided where you're definitely ready for a pool. This is where they're going to come in. That that concrete, all they do is they move the portable gardens easy. out of the way. Yeah, easy. Roll through there. It's not nothing's going to be blocked. Yeah. And you put the pool. You make that enclosure big enough that all the pool equipment goes there oh, too. Oh yes. So that's where the pool equipment. Yes. If in a perfect world, um, if you said to me, the propane people are coming, um they can only move it somewhere in the front i'd move it to the side here okay so the the um i keep calling it the long border but it's the, not long, the long border, border anymore. if you could put it anywhere what about like right, just right here right here because it's not we all have trees there put the propane here they drive in they service it and drive out okay yeah all right they're coming tomorrow to look at moving the propane tank. So that's great that we have a spot to tell them, well, hey, can and we then do this? My feeling is it's not going to be, I mean, if we're going to move it all the way, big cost. But to move it from there to there, that's not a big I deal. I feel like it should be pretty. I mean, we'll have to wait and yeah. see what they say. Right. But whole, oh my goodness. We, Jason, we're going to have to sit here and watch this video five times. Five times. To keep and up then, with everything you and said. And as I said, and then you make lists. You have pictures, you okay. go over, we like this, we don't like that, we want that, you know, and everything. And you can see what I've tried to do for you is 
yeah, as we talked about when we first started. Sure, you want to bulldoze the whole thing and start from scratch? We're not doing that. Yeah. And there's a lot of elements. Yes, is the zigzag planter kind of funky? Sure. But you know what? We're going to make it a wow funky so that when it's done, people are going to go, oh my God, I love that. And it's going to have a story to it's it. It's going to have a story right? behind Let it. Let me show you the before photo of what the zigzag planter used to look like. Right. So this, this appeases everybody team wait so people were doing hashtag team zigzag planter on my on the comments so this is going to take those hashtag team zigzag planters we're gonna right. we're so, gonna go with it so the, <laughs> the thing that i love about it is we're going to take you know you give you get lemons we're going to make lemonade yeah. we're going to adjust and we're not breaking the bank and yeah. a lot of this can be done inexpensively mm -hmm. and jason can do some of the work mm -hmm. can you do some of the work some of the work yeah, i can do some of the work too i mean your biggest expanse I, I would say is maybe a little bit of concrete work some drainage mm -hmm. those kind of things uh definitely maybe some decking yeah. you know you can either do it yourself or anything the planners you know painting that and throwing the boulders in there I'm, i mean i mean that's we're gonna paint it in two days yeah so, you yeah know, and then and then you can do the touch up but putting the boulders into that is going to totally change it'll make it like Wow, that's such an interesting feature. Right? Yes. Oh my goodness. The wooden wire fence, that's going to uh, be so beautiful. That's going to be yeah. amazing. Because again, you're about horticulture. You're about growing things. You're yeah. about living things. Yeah. You're not just about, okay, pave the whole thing and put some... No. Yeah. Yeah. No. And also, I can't do like the same plant over the whole thing. I want... I want a riot of colors exactly. and all that kind of I stuff. I see the center thing, not only color, but I see bulbs blooming. I see see anything that you want. That's always going to be something that you're going to, but it, it looks when you drive in, it's like, oh my God, this is like this meadow. This is incredible. Yeah, yeah. This is so exciting, Michael. I, I, I mean, <laughs> thank you so much oh, you're for welcome. taking the time to come out here. Can we talk about how people get, I mean, I mean, is this normal for landscape? firms to, for them to come out or is this special um other people do consultations okay. um people say where do you get your energy are you on i mean <laughs> yeah it's 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 a thing that this keeps, is you this hey, is me when the camera turns off he's still just like yeah. this. <laughs> this this is me this is what keeps my energy yes. this is what keeps me it's incredible yeah. um so but this yes, is like five consultations in one yeah. what i usually do is i'll just tell you it's yes. 200 dollars for a one hour consultation do you guys hear that it is $200 for what he just did. And people can go as far as take the information, record it, just like yes. I tell people, record yes. it. Trying to take notes is, is hard. No way. <laughs> um, and run with it, or we can design plans for them, yes. or we can do consulting. It's, it's an organic process, but that's the way we work. We always start with the consultation because how do you know and you need to problem solve you yes. need to figure out things well and i don't want to waste any money on doing something that i'm going to have to end up reversing so just i mean this is going to this is like a 10-year project 10 -year basically, project. right but now i know every year that i put money into doing a project i know what okay now we're going to do this okay now we're going to do the pool now you know what i mean right it's going to go one by one and it just makes my my vision right so much more you know what i mean like and the I know other thing I'm let going. me just tell you what's so good is okay you've got a master plan there's a sale on hot tubs oh, yeah. Yeah, they're 50 percent off <laughs> we oh, might my. as well get it now <laughs> exactly when you see things pottery world i will tell you yeah. we get we send our clients there and we get a 20 percent discount they can use our discount i gotta take you guys to pottery world it's an amazing it's an place. amazing place yeah. i'll introduce you to the owner thank Bill. You. I, of course yeah. <laughs> thank but you but <laughs> the thing is at the end of the year when everything is slow oh. everything goes 50 to 70 percent off oh. so that fountain that you said we really like yes but we would like to get it at 50 percent off you oh wait till the gosh. end of the year you know you're going to do it you run electrical to it there it is when you have a road map, that's what I tell people. Once you've got a road map. It's gold. It's, yes. It's, oh my goodness. You're not, made, you're not putting something in and going, oh my God, I just put it in the wrong place. Oh my God, I can't do it anymore because there's no way to get in there. Yeah. You know, so even if you can't do it, and this is, this is a 10-year project. Yeah. This is your house for probably for life. Yeah. Because it's got, I mean, what more would you want? Why, why, yeah. Why, why would you want anything else, exactly. you know? But, and it, and you will find that, okay, you're doing it over a period of years. You've got a master plan. We've decided for the pool, but you decide, you know what? 
we don't need a pool. We don't need a pool. We don't. Our we kids use, are grown. Exactly, and, yeah, and yeah. we don't want that. Or you go, you know what? I've gone into. Jason says I wanted swim laps. It's it's a priority. Uh -huh. You know, whatever it is, you begin to decide. We want it. We don't want it. We're needing it. We don't need it. We've got it. You know, whatever it is, you may decide. Okay, back there, I want to. Ra I don't want a pool. What I want is I want a chicken coop. I want to raise chickens and whatever. Then it, yeah. It's like Megan's. We what we did at I Megan's, know. we put a custom chicken coop out uh. there. <laughs> yeah, that's not me. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Yet. I yeah. mean, I don't know. Things can change, you know. But yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. And the thing that I really like about using those raised beds, you will find the one thing you will discover, which there are there are visitors here all the time. Those raised beds are great. What are you talking about? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> yeah. about. Those raised beds, oh, I saw my first snake in my garage Did the other you? Day. I, told, I told my wife, uh, the for sale sign's going up. She goes, why? And I said, it's right by the back door, there was a snake. And, oh my goodness. You know. When I when I saw the bunnies run through, I, it literally had just never crossed my mind that there was going to be more critters out here. It just it just didn't cross my mind at all. And it was like, oh, that changes things. <laughs> the one thing you might wind up getting is yeah. uh, what we did at our barn, you know, where we keep our horses. Yeah. They got barn cats. Yeah, that's what somebody else said on a comment. It's and gonna... they're wonderful. These really? were these were domesticated, but they live outside. They have a little, they could be in your shed. And they had, there's like six of them, and they're the friendliest thing. But the rat population is almost non-existent Oh, now. my gosh. All right. So, okay. I mean, that's things. I mean, bunnies, rats. I mean, it's... It's, okay. You're, it's country living, I but know. the romance of it. <laughs> country romance, Country right? romance. <laughs> country romance. Buddies on a spit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Michael, thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. My much. pleasure. This was fun. This, I know all of you were so excited for this video. And I, I mean, you gave so much more than anybody I think could have ever expected. Thanks. So. Um, I'm going to send you some of those pictures. Yes, yeah. thank you. And I will put them in the video for you all. And then I'll also put all the links, including Michael's links, if you guys want to contact sure. him. If you guys are local, get this consultation because, oh my goodness, it's amazing. And then um, we need to move on to the next step yep. because I yep. want plans. and I, you know. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And the next step will be very fun out here going over all the ideas. Oh, and, my yeah. gosh. I just thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Give you. me a hug. Oh, all right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're all as excited as I am. I have to go home and rethink everything. <laughs> you messed all my plans up, Michael. <laughs> and I'm sending you some pictures. Okay. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.